wicked friends and thank you for joining me for another process video so today i'm working on this selfie photo that i took of myself at the isle of wight festival this weekend just gone um i was there with the isle of wight donkey sanctuary and we were fundraising so what we were doing was selling these donkey ears um and we were get, we were looking to get a world record of the most donkey ears at a festival which was a lot of fun and um raising awareness of course so yeah i've already mounted this onto some scrap from my stash which is from that let's get cozy paper pad that i've been using and i've got some quite a lot of little planner type stamps here this is a stamposaurus uh, stamp these are all planner type stamps and i've got my two here this is an le studio and this came from pink gem designs so um my um way of wearing the ears was donkey um elvis the donkey style so elvis the donkey i always i've done layouts about him many layouts about him including one about the way his ears always kind of look like handlebars <laughs> he has that he wear his ears like go like flat like that and stick out some of the donkey's ears go up and some go back some go forward <laughs> but elvis is always go like that so i absolutely insisted on wearing my donkey ears elvis style at the festival so I've already stamped this out because I started to do it and I, this was like a little cut apart from Vicky Booting and I, I sort of did it. I didn't I didn't want to waste this um, little journaling piece here so I've already done that and I might add a little bit of stamping to that as well. I've got my title here which is Festy Fun and it's um, Simple Stories, Colour Vibe, Foam Alpha in Teal. This is just my mini stamp set that I use regularly that came from the range of the works. And then what I've done is I've torn a few papers from my uh, stash, from my scrap box. Not sure what they are. Um, yeah, just all scraps. This one wasn't quite long enough, so I cut, I trimmed it in the middle, tore it in the middle to make it fit. So I'm going to place those down, I think, first. And then uh, see how we get on. So my idea of using all these, these papers here is kind of like the cuss of the ears, you know, like a... It's going to be like a horizontal design. That's what I'm thinking. And I've tested out, I tried to make the title out of different alphas, but I couldn't, I didn't have enough of the, all the alphas, so I, I ended up using this one, which is fine. Uh, it's uh, the, it's okay, the colour's fine and everything. So. But I wanted to use like colourful, um, colourful alphas, but yeah, I didn't have quite, I couldn't quite make it work with those. But the blue's fine because the blue um, in the t-shirt, it's the it's the colour of the donkey sanctuary and um, the sky and all that stuff. So yeah, it works anyway. I'll get this one down. So I thought I'd have a few layers of paper going on here. I haven't quite laid that one down very well. Let's see if we can get that a little bit. Uh, yeah, I can always trim the. You know, I can always trim the edges of the layout once I've finished, but. Uh, need to measure that do I but yeah it's uh, it's, it's uh, do them the best I can it's fine <laughs> get this one down so yeah I had a good time I was there two sessions um Friday and Saturday I was due to go Sunday as well but I think by the time the evening came things had quieted off a lot and uh, they gave me a phone call just to say that I didn't need to uh, go over there so um, yeah, I didn't head over there yesterday, but I was there for the other two days, and uh, yeah, never been to a festival before, so uh, it was a new experience for me, and uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. It's good. It was very hot though. Oh my gosh, it was hot. I had my Factor Fifty on, and I didn't get sunburnt thankfully because I had my Factor Fifty on, but uh, yeah, very very hot. It didn't rain. We had like it threatened rain a couple of times. It spitted a little bit. But yeah, thankfully it was fine, and I think yesterday it did rain a bit. But I was actually that I was I was not due to go there until the evening anyway yesterday. So yeah, I wasn't there for the rain. But I don't I don't think it was too bad. Right, so it's another one of my favourite designs, which is a vertically centred layout with extending embellishing or title or what have you. I'm thinking of adding this here. I'm thinking of doing a bit of stamping directly onto this uh, textured card, so I don't know if I mentioned that. It's American Crafts, it came from one of their mixed packs. I should probably put this on foam actually, I'll just do that. I'll just pop that up onto foam just so that stands out a little bit more. 
then I just need to uh, decide whether to place it low down or not or higher up I think I'm going to do the journaling on here because I probably do more than one layout for this so um, yeah I think I'm going to do the journaling just on here what is I get the title down first down here the second well it's sort of the two titles I came up with festive fun first and then as I was putting the layout together I thought of ears to you like cheers to you I thought that was quite funny so um yeah and then I decided to just stamp that as a secondary sort of title so yeah I think I'll probably call the, the layout ears to you but it, uh, it looks like a secondary title on here but I'm going to call it ears to you but uh, yeah I quite liked I'd already got all these alphas out and obviously I, I, E's are hard to come by usually in alpha sets so I thought I'd stamp that there one I did try and uh, briefly work, do it with using alphas but I, I didn't want it to be like large writing so I ended up deciding just to stamp it on that small uh, journaling piece there originally I thought I might do the journaling on that pop that here but change my mind which is what happens a lot when in scrapbooking it does to me anyway um, layouts evolve my ideas change as I go along and I always like to try and use my stamps and scraps and all that if I can on a layout as well as all the fun new stuff right I think that looks okay so that's festive fun now then do I want this photo to be in the center I think I do really that would make it about there but would that look odd with that here I could add something here could an eye like an embellishment of some kind I think that's what I'll probably do because it, it will look odd if I don't have the photo centered as I'm actually doing a vertically centered design <laughs> so I'm not going to offset that get this piece down and using the wet glue you can actually you do get a little bit of wiggle room That's probably it. About there. Looks about right, I think. Yeah. That looks fine to my eye anyway. So yeah, I just double mounted the photo. It's four by six portrait photo, selfie photo, the t-shirt that we were wearing. We had a hashtag as well, join the herd IOW. That was on the back of the t-shirt. And uh yeah, it was a lot of fun. Right, I think I'm going to mount that as well, actually. On foam. Yeah. I'll use that piece, good and I, yeah, I think I'll use that piece. I'll get that bit down and then decide I'm going to do the rest of it. I haven't actually picked out any embellishments. So far, it's just paper, title, and stamping. You know, maybe we'll find room for something here, like an embellishment. Obviously stamping, you know, you can create embellishments with your stamping as well. Oh, I knew what I was going to do. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> I was going to stamp on there, wasn't I? Oh my gosh, that's going to be too difficult now. Um, let me see if I can just wipe that uh, bit that glue off. Um right what should i do i think i might quickly do a little bit of stamping i've got this distress ink in mustard seed a lovely scrappy kathy sent to me whoops <laughs> it's all going wrong i'm going to add a little bit of stamp damp into that now whilst i can so i thought sunshine because obviously it was really hot whilst we were there and but we did have little specks of rain at times and obviously i think festivals are renowned for that aren't they little music piece here I'm trying to do this quickly because I don't want it to stick to the uh, you know craft mat there that's fine quickly got that done <laughs> speedy stamping <laughs> add a little bit more glue sometimes I get ahead of myself forget what my idea was there I think that looks okay <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> hope I haven't lost anything off my desk now 
brush in there. Did I have another stamp over there? I can't actually remember. See, oh, yeah, there it is. Glasses. Glasses. Right. I think that looks okay. <laughs> it's a little bit rushed, but it's done. Now then, was I going to do the carrots or the horseshoe or something there? I'm not can't quite remember what I was planning. But um, let's get a let's get a uh, stamp block out. there just getting a stamp block out to um, stamp this uh, bunting at the top and I'm hate I'm thinking that I might um, try and stamp something into each pe into each flag of the bunting I haven't practiced this so I'm hoping this goes okay so it could go horribly wrong with it going straight on the paper now then where's the center there's the center so we're looking to do it about here, aren't we? Like that. I don't want to drop it on the page either. There. Press that down. Oh, I did drop that. Luckily I'd already inked it. It's not that, it's not come out that noticeable, is it? Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure if I like that now, although I've stamped it so it's too late. Mm. I would have liked it to have been a bit darker than that. Can we risk stamping over it, do you think? I'm just going to ink up this off, off camera here, try and get plenty of ink on it, and see if I can line it up to stamp over it. It's a bit difficult with the light. Mm. The whole idea of clear stamps isn't it well i don't know if it's the whole idea but you know you can see what you're doing that's probably to do the original stamping as opposed to um you know over stamping oh well that's not too bad i'm not that's that i think i'm okay with that you can definitely see it better <laughs> than you could before so <laughs> i think we'll have a little musical note in there like that uh, maybe a couple of stars in there. Should we have a couple of carrots for the donkeys? I think we will. Oh, we dropped it. Luckily it didn't come out. Right. What I may do later on is go over that with a pen or something. Because I don't it's not, yeah, it's not it's not showing as I would like it to show. Now then. I'm hoping. We don't have the same problem with Elvis the donkey here. So I'm going to get plenty of ink on him. Maybe I should have used black, I don't know. Anyway, we'll give it a go. I'm going to put him here. Press down really well. Oh yeah, that's fine. Now then, do another, put another Elvis the donkey here. Or, because I wanted to get this on here as well, with me wearing the rosette. But actually, I think I'm just going to do another Elvis the donkey, so it looks more sort of even. It balances it properly. Now then, where should we pop you? Here, I think. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That comes out a lot better than that did. I obviously didn't press down well enough with it up there. Now then, we've got the horseshoe have a horseshoe sorry about the uh, sorry about the camera wobbling I've got to get plenty of ink on these because they are you know on textured cardstock and also I'm doing it with my finger but if you get too much ink you do get a little bit sometimes you can get it on this on the inside the horseshoe and if you press it down quite hard then that can touch the page which has happened slightly there but that's fine I don't mind that it's not I don't think it's overly obvious Right, so we've got a horseshoe and a carrot, and we've got that little title there. And now I'm feeling as though I need something here, but I'm, I think I'm going to um, not. I think I'm going to try and get over that and leave it just as you know, 
a gap. Um, so what else was I planning on doing on here? I've done that little bit of stamping there. Now I'm going to use a white pen on here, which yeah, I should have done before I stuck it down. But that's fine. I'll manage it okay somehow. Um, yeah, this bit's bothering me now. I should, if I'd have placed this a bit higher, maybe it wouldn't be bothering me so much. And I could have, yeah, put the festive fun here. But I don't think I'm okay with it. I could do some ink splatter or something, I don't know. But I'm not sure that I want to. Sorry, I'm dithering. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, a part of me wishes I'd, I, I had put that higher up and put this title here. Um, but it's all in place now, so I can't change it. Um, yeah. Oh, I could probably, maybe I could put like the date or something there. Um, I could put like June 2023 or something. Gonna have to think about that so lots of paper used on this layout which is always a good thing scraps used up as well stamping using ranger inks mostly and um, all ranger inks actually different types simple stories foam alpha some scraps from my stash and um, stamps so uh, yeah pleased with it still thinking you know <laughs> about this section here but if I decide to do something with that, then you will probably see it in the photos at the end. But at the moment, I'm going to leave it as it is and uh, just do the writing and add the date. So um, once again, thank you for joining me. Stay safe, take care, and I shall see you next time. Hey, okay, I just said goodbye, but then I wasn't happy with that um, gap there. And I looked in my bamboo fox and I found this piece here. So I'm going to add it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Sorry about that. Sorry about my dithering. And also, it really nestles nicely into that uh, lovely little bunt in there. Maybe it, it kind of makes that stand out a little bit more as well. And then I've got this piece as well, which is the, um, it's a rainbow with a heart on it and lovely texture. So I thought maybe I could add that here. And that's what I'm going to do. So I knew I had some uh, Bumble Fox pieces in there that might be suitable, but um, yeah, I hadn't pulled them out. So pop that on there. And then this layout is definitely finished and I'm much happier with it. And I really like the yellow because I've got a yellow headscarf on and obviously yellow is sunshine, isn't it? So um, yeah, really pleased with that. And then the other thing I was thinking about was <laughs> to whether to do a little bit of stamping across here to finish off here. Um, but yeah, if I do, I'll, um, it will be in the photos at the end. I won't restart again. So, um, yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. So once again, thanks for joining me. Stay safe, take care, and I shall see you next time.